This is code.org. If you don't have a pet and some food and stuff, you need to go back through the other parts of this lesson, right? If you're stuck on any of it, make sure to check out my tutorials. All right. Use set energy to, along with change energy by, to make eating food affect your pet's energy. The more energy it has, the faster it moves. Ooh, I'm going to have a speedy cow. Set the variable energy to 5 when the program starts. So a variable is something that means something else. Maybe in math you've seen 2 plus x equals 5. Okay, well then what is x? Oh, x must be 3 because 2 plus 3 is 5. Energy is a variable here. So energy to 5 when the program starts. Just like in video games when your lives are at 3, lives is a variable. Lives really means the number 3 then. When your pet eats food it likes, add 1 to energy. Okay, so first let's do this. Set the variable energy to 5 when the program starts. And let's look for set energy. Yep, it is in variables, okay? And then when the program starts, that's way up here, right? Right when I click run, that's what starts the program. So I'll set energy to 5. Along with change energy by to make eating food affect your pet's energy. When your pet eats food it likes, add 1 to the energy. Okay, so when do we eat food? Well, remember, when the pet touches the radish, we're saying, radish, go to a new location, because that's when we eat it. So that's then where I would want to add one to energy, because if I took something like, nope, change energy by one and put it right here, what would happen? Well, energy is just going to go up by a ton. Okay, because it's just, well, it's only going to go up by one, actually, because it will, when the program first runs, it says, okay, energy is now six, and then it's done. We want energy to go up by one every time we touch the radish, because for me, the radish was going to be my good food, and the hamburger, because it's made of cow, is my bad food. When your pet eats the food it doesn't like, set energy back to five. Ah, so this is supposed to be a hint, right? When your pet, like, add one to energy, so we're changing it then. But if we eat bad food, right, so what if we have 47 energy? Because I ate 47 delicious radishes. Well, it doesn't want us to subtract five. It says it's like a restart, like a you lose. Set the energy. Put it back at five. So let's go back to variables and put the energy back at five. It's almost like a game over thing. They have to go all the way back to five. I could eat a hundred good items. Second I eat one bad, bloop, there goes my energy. Change each arrow key event so that your pet now moves energy pixels instead of, oh, ooh, I didn't see that coming. So you see how we move five pixels right now, right? What they're saying is, and variable, and energy. Now what the heck does energy mean? Well, when the game first starts, energy would be five, okay? But say I eat 47 radishes, well, or say I, let's say I eat two radishes. If I eat two radishes, each time energy goes up by one. Well, five plus one is six. Six plus one is seven. So now my energy is seven. So when I hit up, I go up by seven energy. But then I hit the hamburger, go back down to five. So we're replacing this all with the variable. That way our eating impacts the speed at which we move. It's kind of cool. Let's test it out. Oh, I keep getting the hamburger. I don't want the hamburger. That's murder. No! I think my game's too difficult. Nope, not, I didn't mean to do that. Radish. I can see me moving fast. Oh, uh, I just lost it. Awesome. Anyways, let's keep going.